Some people have an overly prominent chin. So if it's too long vertically or too long front to back, you can go in with an incision underneath the chin with a round burr that spins around on a drill and you can sand this part down with burr. You could sand it down vertically. You could sand it down this way if it was too prominent. I would say that of the people we see, more than two thirds of them come in to have the chin enlarged. Most of them we put a chin implant in because it's a straightforward operation. It's a small operation with few complications. To actually cut the bone while that operation is available, and I also have a dental degree and all the specialized equipment and little screws, it's a longer operation, requires a little deeper level of anesthesia, and there are more potential complications. There is a nerve that comes out of the bone right where this hole is on both sides. That's called the mental nerve, and it goes to the lower lip. So when we do these operations, it can get bruised during the surgery, and it can be temporarily out of function. Just like if I punched you in the arm really hard, your arm wouldn't move, it would be hurt, but it, I didn't cut any nerves in your arm if I punch you. So it's not unusual to have some temporary weakness of this nerve, because it's right in the vicinity of where the cut has to be. And when you do an osteotomy like this, the other important thing is you have to be aware of how long the roots are of the teeth. So if you make this cut too high up, you could cut right along the roots of some of these teeth. There are other demonstrations on this skull. This is a vertical osteotomy of the ramus of the mandible. This is called the ramus. If you do this type of cut, you can move the entire lower jaw back. So someone that has a very prominent lower jaw, sort of a Jay Leno type, you go in through the mouth. We have a side cutting saw that cuts sideways and makes this vertical cut, and then you can telescope the pieces. So you'd make this cut, and you push this back. You can see how the whole jaw can be set back. And then these pieces heal together and the bone remodels.